Evil Empire, laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs>
this particular gun. And we'll see it in the review. And hopefully this mysterious individual will get a review in the future. Because I know there were a couple of people asking about this particular figure. About, um, excuse me, I'm a little stuffy. Uh, we're asking whether or not I was going to do a review on this particular figure, and the answer is yes, I will be. So just stay tuned, be patient with me, and uh, with that being said, let's get into this review. Okay, so let's get into this review so there are if i remember correctly there are 15 accessories i think one three there's 17 so this is the box that it came in it looks like this and then on the back it has that right um, and then when you slide it out, it's just all the accessories and they're in like a, a plastic clamp and you just slide the top off and then you can get everything out. Um, and so with that being said, I, I was messing around with it. I, I didn't realize that it came in the mail already um, because I got them from work last night and I was like oh shit my my um something came and uh sure enough it was the McFarlane uh accessory pack and I was gonna get two of these but I was like yeah I'll be fine with one just because of two particular guns in general was the main reason why I wanted to get two but I was like yeah I think I'll just settle with one so that being said I have some models here, some figures that will be modeling off our uh, accessories here. And um, with that being said, we will jump into this. So the two guns in particular that caught my attention were these right here. These little ray guns. I, wow. Wow, okay. Um guess I'll just use my tweezers here to show these off since apparently my giant adult hands cannot keep this contained. Got shit flying all over the place. So this is what one of them looks like. I love it. It's very 1950s, you know, era um ray gun like something you would see in you know a 50s sci-fi movie or you know in a comic or on like some of those old movie posters you know very cool i like it i love the colors the blue and the gold really pops so you have that one and then you have this one here which is a little bit bigger um, but I like it. It reminds me of, it reminds me of some of the guns that you can get in Fallout, or if you ever played The Outer Worlds, which I highly recommend that game. That game is fantastic. It's by the people that originally did the Fallout games before Bethesda bought it. Um... You can pick up guns that look like this. I like this too. Very 1950s as well. And I love the purple. Actually, is that more? Is that more? No, this is more of a blue. Yeah, this is purple. So you get purple and green and gold. I love it. Um, Let's see. And then, of course, like I said, I love my revolvers so you also get this 357 and then you also get a snub nose as well um 
Um, you get a set of these. These are like Luger. These are like Luger pistols. So you get two of those. Um, yeah, here's the other one right here. I'm just going to do it this way. That way you guys can see it and my hands aren't all in the camera. <laughs> this one's cool too. I like this. I'm still trying to figure out who I could use this with. Um, this blender, what is it called? The blender blast, blender bossed. And that's really nicely painted too. Look at all the little details. Again, 14 bucks. 14 bucks, man. This one's cool as well. This like dual drum mag machine gun. And then the best part is you can actually you can take the magazine out. So that's cool. I don't know who I'll use that with. Oh, the barrel's a little warped. There we go. There we go. So that's pretty cool. This one I thought was interesting. This little pop gun. So does that mean that we're getting a Harley Quinn at some point? I don't know. But if they do a Harley Quinn in the classic costume, they could totally use that. And I also like the dry brushing on the cork. So, that one's cool. MP5. Can't go wrong with that. Again, some more out there guns. I think this is supposed to be like a scar. But it has like this really weird rail on, on the top of it. And then this grip at the bottom. You have this one here. This is an AUG. Again, I really like the dry brushing on these. Um, I think this is all uh, FAMAS, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because this is... No, yeah, this is a FAMAS. And then this is an AUG. Um, some will call this an Australian bull pip as well. Um, usually you see a variation of these with the Royal Guard in, uh, in the UK. That's what they carry. They carry something similar to that. You have this right here, which is like this giant fucking rifle. I think it's a sniper rifle. It could be a sniper rifle. You get this giant... <laughs> A giant chain gun with the <laughs> this gigantic uh, drum mag at the bottom, uh, and then there's two more guns. There's this one here, which is the P90. This is one of my favorite machine guns of all time. Um. In Modern Warfare 2, I have this set up in my my weapons class. Um, I love it. And um, it's in... Uh, if you've ever seen... Um, I tell a lot of people to watch this anime, but... Um, I think people usually get turned off by the character, Len. But if you've seen... Um, SAO uh, Alternative GG or Gun Gale Online. Uh, there's a character in there called Len, and her her gun is a P90. It's a pink P90, and it's called Peachon. And um, that gun is awesome. I actually have, like I said, I have this gun in Modern Warfare 2, and I have an all pink wrap for it or a, a pink gun camo and so that's that's my uh that is my tribute to peach on so 
But uh, yeah, this again, this is awesome. Um, let me show you the <laughs> original P90 that I had from McFarlane. I mean, that thing is, it's like the, the parent and the child. <laughs> um, this was for one of the, the bigger, uh, monster characters from Fortnite. So that's why the gun is so ginormous. Um, but it works cause I could use it with my robot cowboy back there. So there's that. And I love the way that it scales because it scales perfectly, perfectly. And then there is this gun right here, which when I saw this gun originally, I was like, that is really cool. It's like a kind of steampunk Western, um, revolver but the the gun looks so big i don't know who i could use it with and then i got it in hand and i was like wow this thing is gonna be a little too big for my figures let me see if it'll fit in his hand because when i originally got him i this was my birthday gift to myself last year i was like i was looking on bbts and i was like what can I, you know, this year was kind of, the year was dookie. It was, it was kind of dog shit. And I was like, man, what can I do? I like to treat myself on my birthday. So I was like, let me treat myself to something really cool. And I came across him and I was like, oh man, that's, it, it's like two of my favorite things, robots and cowboys. <laughs> so you know, and he didn't come with a revolver. I was like, they, you know what I mean? Like they gave him the little hat, right? They gave him this little hat that you can take off. And then they gave him this really cool knife. Um, let me see if I can move his hand without him falling over. They gave him this really cool knife. It's like, a, a it's this really cool knife, like a headhunter knife, right? And that's awesome. But then they gave him like these little cannons that you can put on his hands. And I was like, that's not really. I mean, it's cool because like, you know, he's a robot and he can like pop, you know, cannons out of his hands. But I was like, no, he needs he needs a revolver. He needs a revolver. He's a cowboy. What cowboy doesn't run around with some type of sidearm? You know what I mean? He needs a six shooter. And little did I know, McFarlane Toys came through with that. And when I put it in his hand and I figured out, oh my God, his finger can fit through the trigger and it's the perfect size. It can fit in his hand. I was like, yep. I was like, thank you. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> thank you so much because you solved an issue that I've been trying to figure out for a couple of months because I was looking around and I mean, I was looking around for, um, some company or you know something some type of revolver that would be big enough to fit in his hand and there we go so now my robot cowboy can gunsling properly so that's fucking awesome i love that um i do want to review him at some point too because that is actually really 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 cool figure um, but, uh, yeah, let me, let me kind of grab, uh, Sky here. I know Sky's looking really cool. She's looking, you know, very, <laughs> very Dante here with her giant, uh, giant buster sword. I did actually do a review on, on this kit. That sword is from a, a Kotobukiya kit. Um, it's a sword kit and it came with a couple others, but the main reason why I got it was for the buster sword. And at some point I want to try to paint that because I think it would look really cool. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's play around a bit. Let's, let's, uh, get some, some guns in her hand. 
ones. Oh, I need to get a different, I need to get a different light because I'm realizing that the spring light is not gonna, is not gonna be a good fit. So yesterday I was sitting here with, you know, trying out the guns and I had, uh, I had Sky running around with these, <laughs> these, uh, the ray guns. Like I said, I love these ray guns, man. They're awesome. You know, so I was, I was posing around in some, some cool, uh, action, action poses. <laughs> You know, she's like dual wielding, you know, all up, whoosh, you know, whoosh, or whoosh. You know, getting her in some, some really cool, po oh, actually, that's a, that's a cool, that's a cooler pose, a whoosh. So. That's cool. I really like the way these guns look. Are, are these are even... awesome. <sighs> so yeah, I really like the way that these guns look. The paint is just, it's on point. I know if Hasbro tried doing something like this, they would substantially screw it up so bad. It would be something like... Probably if Hasbro did something like this, it'd probably be like 30 bucks, and then you would have to look how cool she looks. <laughs> She's just like dun dun. It's like causing trouble. Uh but yeah, if Hasbro did something like this, you know, they would be charging, you know, probably 40 bucks, knowing Hasbro, and they'd make it a pulse exclusive. And then all these people would come out of the woodwork and they would buy them all up and then you'd never fucking see them because everyone has to buy, you know, 10 of these weapons packs and then like never use them. So it's like, why, why would you do that? Why, you know, what, what happened to, <laughs> what happened to take one, leave one? You know what I mean? It's so fucking annoying. I hate... It's one of the things I hate the most about collecting. And it's gotten worse over the years. I'd say it's gotten worse since the... Uh, since the pandemic. It's gotten way, way out of hand. And it's like companies just, you know, don't see this shit. Or I wouldn't say all of them don't. But like a majority of them don't see the issue with this and it's like this is you know it's because of you people that we have you know the the one per person or two per person because you guys just you guys just can't you know be happy with the one that you get um so yeah look, look how cool these look i mean these look phenomenal they scale really really nicely and it's weird because it says one tenth scale i think for some of these guns um and some of them are really they're they're pretty <laughs> they're pretty big like some of these i'm probably going to give to my robot over here the robot cowboy because his hands are substantially bigger than um what is going on with this dude? Why are you not standing? Because his hands are substantially bigger than, you know, my my one twelfth scale figures. Um, but I mean, look how good these guns look, man. They just they look wow. There we go. Like I mean, look how good these these guns look with with just, you know, Fortnite characters. I mean, they look, they look dope. You know what I mean? So, I'm very satisfied. 
and I don't say that very often about McFarland stuff just because there there's a couple of times where I get annoyed at some of the things that he does and some of the decisions he makes I'm like why would you why would you do that why would you give us you know a Batman with guns instead of you know giving us you know Black Canary or giving us Poison Ivy or you know, a character that we give a shit about and not just, like, another Batman. But in this case, I'll give him props because this is, this is awesome. This makes me really happy that there's an alternative out there to get weapons for your figures. And, I mean, you can stretch these weapons out to a lot of figures. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, this makes me really happy. Um, props to McFarlane. Two thumbs up. Can't complain. And, um, that's going to be my, my review for this. So, really happy with the way this came out. Hopefully an accessory pack number three. Please, please, please. Or a restock weapons pack number one. <laughs> And um, that's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, really quick, I did finally find the uh, Supreme Collection Cody Rhodes, the Walmart exclusive one. I had a coworker help me. He let me know. And um, I, oh man, I tell you, um, Jazzwares just really brings the worst out in me. So, you see how this one, this is one of the heads that came with him. See how he has the, the spot so you can plug it in? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Look at this. It's like they casted it and it's not even. So, expect that. <laughs> expect expect me to to, to not be too happy um and express some more displeasure for jazzwares so um that's gonna do it for me though um and then i also have some other stuff that i i need to take a look at like this guy here the um the kotobukiya hexagear um governor expansion or governor bump bump up expansion model kit and the the gatlin bleeds um i did actually paint this kit or some other things on this kit like the, the bleeds i definitely painted those you can see it's like a little sloppiness there um and then i do need to dry brush some of these but yeah like you know that and then i also wanted to sit down and do uh, and take a look at a few of my favorite figures from last year. Since I don't really have a top 10 um, for last year. I just I just mostly picked up stuff that I either thought was cool or I thought was interesting. And that's, yeah, that's just how I collect. So, um, with that being said, again, thank you very much for watching. I will make sure that this just doesn't uh bore you guys to death and uh 112 oh finish the fight always and uh 112 out here comes a new challenger